Fashola has made a shocking statement that is making rounds about Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobo. In fact, what he said is rather becoming a very serious stir because he said it with all seriousness. So it could either be someone is lying or we are being deceived here. And like you know, he went to Lekki Gate in the midst of all that happened, like a cock. The hands were between the back, the head stretched out, looking for a camcorder. At the end of the day, a few days ago, after the report came out last week, Monday, he was asked about that very camcorder and the content in it. Fashola cried out, I don't know where it is. Politicians, seemingly so to say, full and clothed with lies. As we speak, most of the politicians we have, should I interest you, lie. They lie. And conveniently, you see, they don't even blink. They don't think about it. It's, it comes to them naturally. Okay, it's, it's like a second nature. They don't think, they don't blink. So he said Tinubu did not tell him he's running for 2023 presidency. And Babajide Sanwolu has already begun the flag off as soon as Tinubu came back from London after his health check, the knee surgery, all the therapy he went through to be able to get proper use of his legs again. Yeah, it's Fashola. Who Tinubu, we all know, made a governor and also made a minister. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, said he did not confirm whether the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, will contest for the 2023 presidency or not. Fashola stated this on Channel's television hard copy program aired on Friday night when asked whether he will support Tinubu's rumored 2023 presidential bid. The former governor of Lagos State noted that he met Tinubu last week and the APC leader didn't tell him about any presidential ambition. He said, I saw Tinubu last week. He didn't tell me he's running for the office. And to the best of my knowledge, the last statement he made on it is that people will join in January. All will be made known. Fashola also said he has not asked Tinubu whether he's interested in the 2023 presidency or not. No, I didn't ask him. I just went, I just went there to ask how he was doing. He has issued a statement that I will speak in January. So let us wait till January, he said. Political talk, you can, you can agree with me, yeah? It's just being political with the truth. That's what they do. That's what they do, political, yeah? Ask whether he's, he is speaking for any experiment come 2023. Fashola said, as far as I'm aware, nobody has said, I want to be Nigerian's president. There are people speaking for people. Nobody has come out yet. So I won't set the stage where no one has said anything. I can't venture out and say I will speak for Z or Y. Let a person come out first and say I want to serve Nigeria. It pains me sometimes when we see that. Very important job and responsibility. People just think very low of this position. My people say I think the whole sense of it should be I am able. I have looked at it myself. Give me your problem. Let's go to sleep. When asked whether he's interested in becoming Nigerian's president, Fashola said, it is a very hard and a tough one. It's a tough responsibility, a very tough job at that. Tough job at that. I don't envy those who have heard that office, and I don't envy those who aspire to take it as well. So, Fashola's statement, I can tell you from all indications, is being political. That's all. Bottom line, just being political. Okay, not because he doesn't know that Tinubu is running or Tinubu is not running. For goodness sake, the first person to make us really aware that Tinubu was running for this, okay, was the very man who is the current governor of the state now. Okay, the very governor of the state now said, um, as soon as Tinubu came back, what he used to welcome back Tinubu, you know, and to love him and to say, we really appreciate you. Thank you for supporting and assisting me and, as, and accepting that I should be Lagos press, uh, governor at this point in time. You know, Sanwolu quickly organized the first flag off for Tinubu. And Tinubu, I mean, he never said no. 
I mean, he did not say nothing else. Endorsement has been coming from left, right, and center. In fact, we've seen a man who has a case with EFCC deep in corruption. As soon as he endorsed Tinubu, all sins were wiped away. The slate was wiped clean. Mm, as, clean as clean as a whistle. So it is what it is. These people, they walk together, they flock together, is what they do. Don't be deceived. It's the same people, the same 10, 10 and 10 pence. There's, and there ain't no much difference. Okay? It's the same. Six and half a dozen. Aha, you understand it now. So, my dear, that's what is happening. That's what it is. So when you look at the whole thing, you look at everything that is going on, and these are the people who want to lead you, who want to rule you. We're not saying that um, you should come out in the open and, and declare Tinobu before Tinobu is declared. But there are still better ways to make people know that you are a man of honor, integrity, and your word. So you being neither here nor there does not support the truth of what should be. You being neither here nor there, you're just, I mean, just doing whatever you want to do, does not go well at all. It doesn't. It doesn't. So when people come out and um, they are not being truthful and, you know, they are being here and there, just, it, it's very sad. It's very sad because you expect more from them. Okay. Uh, Fashola has shown us already that um, he's an agent liar. When you see the whole lucky like, thing, you know, people did skit about it. Oh yeah, there was a challenge. You know, people did different skit of how camcorder was just found in strange places very strange places you need to go back and watch those kids you see it was a competition and a lot of people did a lot of things about it and posted it online i wonder how he felt you know how how i mean the disgrace you came to lekki gates a place that was burnt a place that after people have come and gone it was cleaned by, uh, you know, these people that uh, last man and the rest, they've cleaned the place thoroughly, cleaned it up down. All of a sudden, this camcorder fell from the skies and got into a position. You were not the only one there. You came with other, um, you know, people. And all of a sudden, your eyes were so sharp. You know, your eyes were all open. And all of a sudden, you got there. Wow, here it is. And you picked it up. Ooh, that's amazing. Oh, yeah, really amazing, you see. So this is what they do. Uh, they do it nicely and they walk away with it and they think that the other people are children. They should not understand it. <laughs> Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. Bye for now. Bye.